everyone, it's Sky from Arthritis to Athlete here, and welcome to my series called RA Tip of the Day. Even though it's titled RA Tip of the Day, if you don't have any type of arthritic condition, don't click away just yet. I've made these tips very applicable to anyone wanting to live a happier and healthier life. If this is your first time here and you don't know me, my name is Sky, and about two years ago, I was diagnosed with something called ankylosing spondylitis, which is a crippling form of spinal arthritis. I know what it's like to suffer with autoimmunity, joint pain, and digestive discomfort. But very, very long story short, through a whole foods plant-based diet, as well as other healthy lifestyle changes like exercise, prayer, meditation, supplication, I have been able to stop and even reverse some of the condition. And now I wanna share some of the tips I've learned with you guys. All right, well, I think that about wraps everything up. Let's get started. I'm gonna go on a walk, take you guys with me. Let's get started with RA tip of the day. Roll the intro. just in my kitchen getting ready to make some dinner and making food it reminds me of my RA tip of the day for the day and that is don't feel like you have to be full all the time when I was following the Pattison program to help reverse my ankylosing spondylitis symptoms I heard a great quote I'm not exactly sure who it was but it goes just like this make friends with gentle hunger now don't misconstrue what I'm saying. Don't be going out and telling people, oh, this one guy on YouTube said I should starve myself. That is definitely not what I'm saying. There's a fine line you have to balance between not starving yourself and not feeling like you have to be full all the time. As some of you might know, one of the most common pitfalls for people on plant-based diets is actually not getting enough calories. Especially if you're relying on whole foods like you should be. It's gonna be a lot less calorie dense and thus, most people kind of end up naturally under eating calories. So yes, you don't wanna under eat calories, absolutely. However, there is this kind of odd mentality I found myself getting in where it's kind of like, oh, well I can just eat as much as I want whenever I want and I'll have no negative repercussions. You know, I noticed that if I overeat, I get way more stiff, way more easily. And lots of times when it comes to chronic pain conditions, especially like arthritic conditions, People notice that whenever they eat just a little bit too much, even when it's really healthy foods, you start to get a little more, I don't even want to say pain, but you just get a little more of like uncomfortableness, if that makes sense. And it's definitely good for overall health as well. But if your goal is to achieve optimal health, or if you're trying to reverse a disease, like in my case, making friends with gentle hunger, remember gentle, <laughs> That's a key word. Making friends with gentle hunger was one of the greatest tips I could ever have. In fact, get this, calorie restriction is one of the very few things proven to extend lifespan. It kind of blows my mind every time I hear that. Now again, this does not mean starve yourself. This does not mean make yourself uncomfortably hungry. But I'm saying maybe when you get that first feeling of, oh, I'm starting to feel hungry, don't feel pressed immediately to go like, oh, I've got to eat something right now. Because I found myself falling into that many times. It's one thing if you're trying to maybe build muscle or achieve some optimal physique, or if you're an athlete, it can be nice to be in a calorie surplus. However, for the majority of people who want to attain just optimal health, that's who I'm talking to. Remember, don't misconstrue this if you're an athlete or something. We should probably be making friends with gentle hunger and not trying to stuff our face with a bunch of food all the time. You know, I debated even making this video for a little while because it's such a fine line you have to straddle with this type of thing. I'm not telling people to eat too much. I'm not telling people to starve themselves. No, no, neither. What I am saying is that most of us, especially in developed countries, have the slight predisposition to overeat just a little bit. I'm not talking about grossly overeating a huge amount. I'm just talking about maybe eating just a little bit past maybe when we should have. You know, we could learn something from one of the longest lived healthiest populations on the planet, which is the Okinawans in Japan. What they do is they traditionally, in their culture, they push away and they stop eating when they're about 80 to 85% full. Don't quote me on that exact percentage, but it's something around there. They're not starving themselves, they're just eating when they're reasonably hungry and stopping when they're reasonably full. It seems like such a simple thing or even common sense, but let's be honest, sometimes when it comes to food, common sense just goes out the back door. Uh, and if I could benefit so much from this tip, 
as somebody who's already pretty aware of these things, I figured, man, there's gotta be more people who would at least benefit from hearing this. So, to summarize, eat when you're reasonably hungry and stop when you're reasonably full. <laughs> Sounds so simple, right? Well, sometimes the truth comes in very humble packages and we're just not looking for it. So that's really it. Make friends with gentle hunger. It's great advice. And since I got that advice from the Patterson program, I do want to plug their product as I always do in my videos. You really, you owe it to yourself if you've got some type of arthritic condition. To get the Patterson program, it's the best $50 you will ever spend. All right, so if you got to the end of this video, you are the real MVP. I appreciate you so much. As always, if you got any value out of this video, please consider adding value back to my channel by liking, commenting, and hitting that subscribe button down below, as well as the bell icon. It really helps my channel out. All right, I know I made this one a shorty, but I really didn't have too much time to record. Gotta eat my dinner, gotta go teach some lessons. As always, I will see you guys very, very soon, and God bless.